In this video, I'm going to show you scientific notation on the TI-36X Pro. Okay, so let's um, multiply these two um, scientific notation numbers. 5.0, right? And then the EE button is right here, right? You can press that and it gives you E right here on the screen, okay? Um, so that's 5.0 times 10 to the, and then we'll put a 6, and then we're going to put times 8.32, right? Double E to the minus 4, and it's minus 4. And you press enter, and it gives you 4,160. 4,160. <clears throat> now to change this to uh, scientific notation, there's a period here, right? The... The period here, you move it to one, two, three. So you're making this big number a small number to 4.16, right? Um, times 10 to the third, uh, because if you're making this, moving this over three places to the left, making this big number to a small number, then the exponent's gonna be big. A lot of explanation there. You um, wanna, you if you wanna know more, to do this manually <clears throat> check out my uh, scientific notation um, video and I do this by hand step by step now how do we change 4160 into scientific notation on this calculator well, on this one it has the mode button you press mode and then you go down uh, with this keypad and go to uh, science scientific notation, press enter, right? Then second mode to quit. Ah, and erased the values it looks like. Ah, we can go back, we can go up by the up arrow, and then you can see that's the number. Let's see if we press enter, it gives us, yes, it'll give us the scientific notation. 4.16 times 10 to the third. We're in uh, scientific notation mode right now. So all the answers will come out to be scientific notation from now on. You know, if that was a little confusing, just pause the video, just try it again, and, and you'll see that it will work. Now, um, if you like this content so far, give it a thumbs up, um, share it with your teachers, share it with your friends. Okay, so let's do division. So here we got 6.23, right? then double E times 10 to the eighth, right? Divided by 1.25, right? Double E to the minus six. So what you see here is sort of what you see here on paper. Enter, then we get 4.984 times 10 to the 14. Now, this minus six goes up and gives you plus 14, and that's why you got a plus 14 here. Let's subtract these two here. This is a very big number. This is a very, very small number. When you subtract a small number from a big number, it gives you the same answer in scientific notation. So 6.25, right? Double E to the fourth. Subtract 8.31, right? To the power of negative eight. Enter. 6.25 times 10 to the fourth. As you can see, it's the same number that we input. Let's say I wanted to change this back into a regular number. We should be able to write with mode, then click on normal, enter, right, and then quit, second mode. And then we can go up to this value, 6.25 times 10 to the fourth, we enter, we enter again, and then we get um, 62,500. Now, one thing to note about these problems, like how many numbers do I write after the decimal place? That's something that you're going to have to ask your teacher. Sometimes it has to do with significant figures, especially if you're do doing um, chemistry. It tends to be the accuracy of what you're measuring. So let's go to mode, go down, go to psi, enter, and then second 
mode to quit. Um, let's do a problem that will have more a visual result. 6.14 when we're subtracting um, to the power of 4. Take away. This is take away. 6.25 to double E times 10 to the what? To the fourth. Enter. And you get negative 1.1 times 10 to the third. Okay. And yes, you can have negative values. Okay, on this one, you're probably going to need to take the square root first. And you can see it here where the square is. Okay. So second square root. And this is going to be um, 1.6, right, to the double E times 10 to the what? 4. Enter, right? 1.264 times 10 to the second. Perfect. Let's do this one. This one, uh, we'll do the square root, okay? The second x squared button to give you the square root. 2.3 double E to the fourth divided by 2.3, right? Double E, 6. And then enter. You get 1.0 times 10 to the minus 1. Perfect. Okay, let's do a powers one. Uh, 1.73, right? Double E. And this is going to be negative 4, right? And then we want to take all that to the power of to the power of 3. Now in this calculator, let me see, where is it? Uh, it's right here, which is kind of a unique and weird way of putting this, but x to whatever power you want, right? Okay, so we press this button, and then we put it to the third, enter. 5.17 times 10 to the minus 12. Negative 4 times negative 3 gives you negative 12. And then here, this one, we'll do one more. 5.49 to the power of 4, right? And then x to the box to the fifth power, enter. 4.987 times 10 to the 23rd. 4 times 5 does give me 20, but not 23. How come? Well, 5.5.49, right, to the power of 5 gives me three more places to deal with. So 20 plus 3 is 23. I do have a video that shows you how to do this by hand, right, step by step. Uh, so if uh, you're interested, you can always click the link on the bottom of the description. I hope um, this was useful. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, please tell your teacher. Please tell your friends. There's a lot more other um, things here, especially if you want to do some stat stuff. You'll find that interesting. Um, or if there's something in particular, or some type of math you're interested in, by all means, uh, put it in the description. Or not description, right? Just uh, the comments and see. Um, tell me uh, what is it that you want to see. All right. Have a great semester. I'll see you later. Bye bye.